Hi, you're watching Charterhouse TV. We've had the TMC Photon Connect lights on test for a while now, and we're gonna take a closer look at the lights in a little more detail. Join us. So here we have the new Re-Photon lights by TMC. Uh, they come in two different options. You have a single 84 watt pod um, and a double um, twin 84 watt pod. The single is going to do uh, 50 by 50 centimetres squared. The double pod is going to do 100 by 50 by 50. Um, and the good thing with these, they've got the latest LED technology in them, so the latest Cree and Osram uh, LED bulbs. And as well as that, they've also opted for Bluetooth connectivity, so it's via the new Bluetooth LE. And you're going to connect to these via the uh, Rephoton app. Yeah, within that app, you're going to get most of the features and functionality you'd expect from some of the higher end modular type lights. So you've got six channel controllability and you've got the option to run weather programs and lightning and things like that. And you've also got full controllability over your sh uh, schedule. Now, there's a couple of other features within the app that kind of set this light apart from some of the competition. We're going to take a closer look at that in just a minute. But first of all, let's take a look at the light and the mount out of the box. So here we have the single uh, Rephoton light on its mounting arm. And this will all come included in the pack when you purchase the light. Um, the same with the double unit, you get everything included. Um, the good thing about these mounting arms is they're fully adjustable, so you can adjust the height up and down as well as you can uh, move the pod front and back as well. So you can position the pod exactly where you want it above your aquarium. Um, also, there's a hang-in kit available that you can purchase separately. Um, the good thing with these as well, it's such a small unit, the light itself is only 109 millimeters by 50 millimeters. Yeah, and that light really put, um, complements the bracket and TMC have done a really good job of making it look quite stylish and neat. Uh, one thing, the cable runs within the bracket and is covered by this um, rub rubber cover that you get over the, um, to run on the inside of the bracket. It's something that, in my opinion, some manufacturers miss sometimes. Um, you get a really stylish, really good looking bracket and it's ruined with a power cable running down the side of it. So hats off to TMC for doing that. The bracket is actually really easy to set up and TMC have done a great instructional video, which we'll link on the screen now, um, should you need it. Even with the double bracket, as you mentioned, uh, you still only have one mounting point on the glass, and then there's a crossbar that comes with it so, that would hold two pods. So again, it still looks really smart over the, over the aquarium. But where this unit really comes into its own, as we mentioned earlier, is some of the key features that you get within the app. So it's the perfect time now, I guess, to take a closer look at that. So here we have the Reef Photon LED Twin Pack over our test Reef 250 aquarium and you'll see we've downloaded the app which is available via both Apple and Android stores. You'll see that the Bluetooth LE picks up any lights that you have plugged in in the area and all you need to do is select those two lights to start the programming. The first page of the programming is going to be the status screen, which shows you the time period um, and the program that you've got set up over a 24 hour period. You can also access here a couple of the key features, which include the fluorescence option designed to enhance the color of your corals and of your fish, as well as the lightning and cloud weather functions. This is also the page where you get to see uh, a pretty cool feature which is the running temperature of your lights and it would also show you that the fans are operating in each unit as expected. The next page is the spectrum page and here you can control each of the six channels of lights. The first channel you can see is a natural daylight channel, the second is a Fiji blue, the third is a reef blue, the fourth is a sea green, the fifth is a near ultraviolet, and the sixth is a warm white channel. Another feature on the spectrum page is the option to change your light settings based on the intensity that you would like your pods to be putting out, as well as a depth of water that you want the colour spectrum to replicate something that you don't see on many lights out there. 
The next page is the schedule page where you can set up each of your daily timers. And there are two ways of doing this. The first is the easy mode. You can simply add a sunrise and a sunset time with the uh, app taking care of the ramp times for you. Or you can select an area of the world where there's a reef and in this instance we've chose Caribbean Sea and that will replicate that area of the world automatically for you. The other way you can use the controller is the advanced mode. Here you can add uh, any time for any setting of each pod that you want the light to carry out and you can add as many of them as you want. The last page is the settings page. Here you can select the probability of those features that you've seen on the status screen, which include your fluorescence and your weather functions. And there's also an acclimation mode, which can be set up via intensity and timer. So there we have a closer look at a closer overview of the Refoton lights. If you want any more information, then head over to the Charterhouse website where one of the team will be happy to help. We'll also put a link in the description um, which will give you a little bit more information as well as some prices. As always, if you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, then make sure you're subscribed to Charterhouse TV. If you are subscribed, remember to put that bell notification button on so that you don't miss any future videos going out. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you again on the next one. See ya.